Hello everyone, this is Robin. Welcome to MyPinkStanford.com. I'm here with a little crafty inspiration for your day. And this video hopefully will be super quick. I'm gonna jump right in. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. You can find all of these items directly on my shopping page, shopmypinkstamper.com. And to make things easy for you, I have them, the item code on the screen as well as the description. Okay, so let's hop right in. I'm pulling out the Beautiful Day stamp set. This is one of my favorite stamp sets because it has this beautiful butterfly. You can use this stamp set with so many different techniques. Today I'm just going to be using just regular coloring with our Stampin' Blends, and I'm going to be using our Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad. Okay, so let's just jump right in, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. I hope your day is amazing. It's a little cold here in Utah. This uh, Today's a Monday and my kids are home from school and definitely like probably most of your kids by this point. So I thought I would just bring you a little, um, a little crafty joy while my kids are getting their schoolwork done. Okay, which is a trial in itself, right? Let's be honest here. My kids are past the age where they want to come in and craft with me right now, so. I have to do this in little spurts. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm using our thick Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to use this big butterfly, and then I'm also going to be using the sentiment thank you from another stamp set. I'll pull, this, pull that out in just a second. Let's put this on a block, and since this is a bigger stamp, I'm going to open up the Tuxedo Black Memento. And I'm going to ink this upside down. This just helps me so it's nice and even, and I, I'm not getting the ink on the block. And I'll go ahead and just ink this up, try to utilize my cardstock scraps as much as possible. Okay, pull that out, that off. Now I'm going to be using our lovely alcohol-based markers called Stamping blends or stampin blends and I'm going to start with the let's see let's go ahead and start with the dark flirty flamingo okay these come in a combo or you can get them individually I'll start with the dark flamingo and I'm just going to simply color the inside I might forward some of this just a little bit I love these stamping blends if you have not tried them yet, they are so therapeutic and sometimes I just wanna turn on a TV show and just color these. And that's why I do my stamp, are my cards in batches. So I'll do all of the butterflies at one time and then I'll come back and do a different part. Okay, so I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm gonna do these parts. I'm going to do these parts, color them with the light flirty flamingo and then these two and then I will do the remaining with our dark granny apple green. And I'll go ahead and speed this part up, add some little fun music for you. Now, doesn't this butterfly look so bright and happy? It's a great way to cheer up a dull and dingy day. Now I'm going to just take a, a pair of our paper snips and I'm going to hand cut around here. Okay, I have this cut. It's time to do the next step of this card. We're going to take a piece of our Flirty Flamingo cardstock. This is cut at three and three quarters by five inches. I'm going to go ahead and run it through the Big Shot. I'm using our corrugated embossing folder, one of my absolute favorites. If you don't own this yet, you may want to add it to your wish list. And this is going to go like this. I love the corrugated folder because it's six by six. So you can really do the lines either way, or you can do them at an angle. You can do a portion. You know, there's a lot that you can do with it. So I'm going to do them the lines this way. 
just run it through. And then are you ready for the magic to happen? Here we go. Ready? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. da. Okay, I will try not to be too chipper today. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take another little scrap piece of our thick whisper white cardstock. All right, for the thank you, I actually pulled out the sentiment from one, of, from one of my other stamp sets called Tropical Chic. I think it's great that you can mix and match your different stamp sets. So if you're looking for a particular sentiment and maybe the stamp set you're working with doesn't have it, no problem. Look in your stash and see what else you have in your collection. Okay, so I'm going to take the thank you and I'm going to just stamp it right here because we are going to put a die around that. And the dies I am using are from a stitched all around from our annual catalog. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with them. I'm gonna put this on my die cut machine. And with this frame, which is one of my favorites, I'm just going to have that one right there. And I'm using this, looks like a little ticket punch kind of a, a die. I'm going to run this through. And now it's time to put this card together. We're almost done. Okay, pull that out there, save my scraps, set this aside. And then with this piece, you're gonna have just some little pieces. And I usually use our take your pick tool. Let me go find that really quick. Okay, I found the take your pick tool. So I'm going to pull this out of the frame carefully. And I'm going to use the little paper piercer and I'm just going to carefully poke these through. And sometimes you may want to keep them in there. I sometimes use my fingernails as well, but this is the thicker paper. All right, I have a piece of our thick whisper white cardstock. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half inches. I'm going to simply fold this in half. Now I'm going to take this piece of the corrugated flirty flamingo. I'm going to add adhesive to all four sides and a little bit in the middle. And I'm going to be careful when I'm adding that. The corrugated wants to kind of pull up because it is so detailed. It is probably my favorite embossing folder right now. Um, so you have to just be careful when you're putting your adhesive on. Okay, I'm gonna grab a piece of our Basic black cardstock. This is cut at four inches by five and a quarter, so just a quarter inch on the top and on the side. Oh my goodness, look at how pretty that looks together. Isn't it such a wonderful combination? I love it. Well, it is, Flirty Flamingo is pink, and I do love pink things, right? Although not all my projects are pink, surprisingly. Okay, I'll put this on here. And now what I'm simply going to do is take some adhesive and add it onto this. And I'm just going to have this up here, just flat on that. And then I'm taking, I have a little piece of the Granny Apple Green cardstock that coordinates with the butterfly. I love our colors for our um, exclusive colors because we have ink, pens, paper, embellishments. We have so many things that coordinate and that's one of my favorite things. Okay, so I'm going to take some adhesive and I'm going to add that on this piece of Granny Apple Green. This is half of an inch by two inches. And I'm just going to have it sticking out. If you want to save some paper, you can also just cut it in half and have a smaller piece so they just kind of stick out on the ends a little bit. Use up some of your scraps. Now we are going to take these beautiful basic pearls. I have three of them. And I am going to take my, I'm, I like to use my bone folder to help transfer rhinestones and pearls, rhinestones and pearls and gems, oh my. Okay, here we go, there we go. Okay, I did it, yay! Now I will do the last thing, which is using our Stampin' Dimensionals, and I'm just gonna add one dimensional in the center of here. Now, so I have it, I have the wings up. So this would be a really good one to add to, maybe a plate of cookies or something, maybe family member needs them. Uh, a parent, 
and if you're going to send it in the mail, just it'll lie a little bit more flat. And then I'm going to have the thank you off to the side right here. Now here's another one that I made, and I used the light granny apple green instead of the dark. So there it just gives you a little bit of a contrast. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the little notification bell so you'll be notified when I have new videos for you. You can find me and more of my tutorials, giveaways, and projects on my website, mypinkstamper.com. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.